All right, what's up guys? Today I wanna to talk to you about a challenge that I'm giving myself for the next 30 days, and that's to see if in 30 days I can become highly proficient at using DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm not an idiot, I don't think I'm gonna be able to master Resolve in 30 days, but what I do wanna see is if in 30 days I'll be able to use Resolve as confidently as I do Premiere. I've been using Premiere Pro for about six to seven years at this point, and I've always been obsessed with finding the best ways to work in Premiere. Whether that's making a macro for something that Premiere doesn't do, how to solve common issues that people have, pretty much anything. If someone comes to me with a premiere question, I feel very confident that I will be able to answer that question. Recently, I've been on Clubhouse a lot and something I found myself saying is that people should learn more than one NLE. A lot of people say stuff like, should I use Resolve? Should I use Premiere? Should I use Final Cut? And my opinion is kind of, why not learn more than one? Yeah, you should probably focus on one to master and become really proficient at and use that as your primary NLE, but I do think it's useful to know more than one for certain workflows or certain projects where it may call for that. A few times now, I found myself in situations where people were using Resolve and I knew absolutely nothing about it and it was kind of awkward to feel just completely clueless. And since I've gotten my Blackmagic 6K Pro recently, I figured this would be a great time to finally do a deep dive into Resolve because the color grading with my Pocket 6K Pro is absolutely incredible in Resolve. So I kind of figured if I was gonna learn color grading inside of Resolve, why not just learn Resolve entirely and be able to hop back and forth between different NLEs very easily. I don't wanna just know the basics where, okay, yeah, a Resolve database is kind of like what a Premiere Pro project file is, but you can't just move databases all over wherever you want. So I'm just going to accept the fact that this is what a database is and move on. No, I want to know all the different little intricacies of Resolve and see if I can feel as comfortable in Resolve as I do in Premiere. Hopefully once a week, I'll post an update video about how it's going, what I've learned and what I think so far. And then at the end, hopefully I'll be able to give you my thoughts of what I think of Resolve versus Premiere. And then who knows, maybe one day we'll learn Final Cut as well. One thing I am going to try and do with this series is all of the material that I have found really useful for learning or things that explain things really well, I'm gonna try and make a document with all of those things so that if you guys wanna learn Resolve as well, you can just follow my cheat sheet and learn from all of those videos and resources so you don't have to hunt them all down yourself. So if you're interested in learning Resolve, make sure to stay tuned to this series because I think it'll be pretty helpful for people in general. I'm really curious to see how this goes. I don't really plan to switch to Resolve full time. I really enjoy Premiere right now, but who knows, maybe by the end of this 30 days, I'll be drinking the Resolve Kool-Aid juice just like everyone else. All right, so we're gonna start the clock for learning Resolve in 30 days right now, and I will see you guys real soon.